Hey y'all, good morning. We're out here at one of our installs, bright and early, 6.58 a.m. Today, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a few things that we do as far as upgrades and uh, why we don't cut corners. So, we're waiting for the homeowners to move their cars out of the driveway. Uh, we always uh, send out an email, I'll let you guys know, to, uh, to remove those cars the night before, park up across the street, just so that when we pull up, we can back our trailers in uh, to unload the debris. But we'll uh, we'll show you here shortly uh, some of the upgrades that we do. So one of the first things we're gonna go and do when we get here in the morning is we're gonna go ahead and tarp all of your shrubs from some of the debris. Make sure it stays clean and doesn't get stuck in there. All right, so this right here is a pipe jack, okay? And most roofers go back with another builder grade boot, which is this piece right here. All right, it slides down. This PVC pipe goes to your plumbing in your house. This sleeve at the bottom, it actually gets cracked. Sometimes it's rotted, it dry rots out in the sun. We go back with a bullet sleeve, which is one continuous piece, goes all the way down to the base. There's a piece that actually goes inside the pipe, so there's no leaks. And then also, as you can see, there's an opening right here. The, the, uh, the bullet sleeves that we go back with has a mesh screen up here to prevent any kind of debris from getting into your, your plumbing system. All right, and these bullet jacks. These bullet jacks right here, they have a mesh screen. The ones that are up there, it's just a complete opening. Stuff can get in there, squirrels can drop things. This one right here actually has a mesh screen on top and it's one continuous piece. If you look inside, all right, that right there, that little inner piece goes into, into the PVC pipe. And then this outer goes all the way down to the base. And there is no, there is no, um, it won't crack or, or water will get in. Unlike up there, all right, it's just a little sleeve. So that's one of the upgrades that we do. All right, so this right here is the ice and water shield. So as you can see, it's kind of like a shingle in itself, but there's this peel and stick backing, okay? And this will stick straight down to the decking of your roof. And it's 100% waterproof, tear resistant. It's a much better product than that felt paper that you had up there in the first place. thing I want to talk about is underlayment. So it's not just new shingles that go up on your roof. It is the wood deck. Then there's a moisture barrier between the wood deck and the actual shingles on top. That's your underlayment. So the underlayment that is on your roof right now, it's felt paper dipped in tar. And the problem with this stuff is, see how easy it cracked? That's what you have on your roof right now. And a lot of roofers go back with it just because it's cheap. The problem is, it dries out and you get leaks in your roof. We go back with synthetic underlayment. This stuff right here is tear resistant. I'm not tearing it and it's 100% waterproof. It's a way better material than this stuff right here. So we put this on every single one of our roofs in addition to the ice and water shield, which I've already shown you. Um, and brand new flashings. It's just a way better roofing system.
their original job. Once the air compressors are turned off, they're blown the debris off the roof. is to do a final clean across the property. We do this several times a day, not just on your property, but on your neighbor's property. So left, to the right, behind. We want to be courteous to your neighbors as well. Uh, sometimes it's windy, debris flies around. We'll go and clean up that as well, but we take these heavy duty magnetic brooms and we will go back and forth, hear the clicks and we'll pick up every single one of your nails. We understand it's important to pick up all the nails because you guys have children, you guys have pets and we don't want them to get hurt. So several times throughout the day, we'll use magnetic brooms. We'll clean up um, absolutely everything we can, the best we can. Uh, and we typically come back the next day and do another sweep as well if it's getting dark late tonight, just to ensure that everything's picked up.